what's up what's up my beautiful people welcome back to day three of green theme week yes day three boo hey look at these eyebrows looking all good <laughs> i'm excited for today's look because i'm using a new palette y'all know i get really excited when i use something new because i'm like ah ah so exciting so um i was in the process last in the process of last night of gathering all of my green palettes because not only do I want to get the opportunity to use some of my green palettes for the looks that I'm doing for this week but I also want to do a ranking video for these palettes and y'all I didn't realize I had so many green palettes like I have a lot of green palettes and I have so many to the point when I looked at them I can't even do an honest ranking of them because out of all of the green palettes, I want to say I probably use about to get like four or five of them. And I think it's like a total of like 12, 14, 15 ish. Yeah. So it's not an honest ranking. I can't rank something that I haven't tried. So I think I might just do like a judging ranking off of the looks and the color story and stuff like that. And of course, a little bit off the payoff because I can swatch it until how the payoff is going to be but yeah <laughs> i'm like oh girl you got a lot of palettes you haven't tried but anywho uh today we're going to be using the makeup by yolando y'all know i love this girl i love her brand i love her cosmetics i love her eyeshadows they are amazing um she had a bunch of these in the monochromatic style but this price point for these was a little pricey for a um, six pan eyeshadow, okay? I believe it was roughly $20 just for this palette. And I get why the price was that price because of the, is this one, I think this one has a chrome eyeshadow in there. It's like a holographic chrome eyeshadow. So I know those, once you put those inside of a palette, it raised up the price point for the actual palettes so I didn't get the opportunity to get the rest of them I think this was the only one that I got from her monochromatic little what is these called the science something they got like the science formula in the front of it so it's really cute but I believe this is the only one I got I want to say I got another one but I can't I can't remember which one so anywho we're gonna give this a try and if I love it, then I'll, I'll get the other one, especially when they don't sell, because she always has amazing sales going on, so I will say that for sure. So, I have no other colors to rely on because every eyeshadow in here is green. There's no browns. There's, there's nothing to fall back on to make this work. So, this is going to be a very much so green, 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 green look. But let's get started. So let's zoom in. All right. So the first shade I want to jump into is the obvious color because it makes sense. Is to go in with the deepest shade first. So I'm going to go in with this dark matte green. There's three mattes in here. Two metallic one. Well, I don't think it's two metallic. I think one of them, like I said, is a chrome. I don't know which one is the chrome blue. <laughs> um, look at that. Never disappoints me. Never disappoints me i know i'm probably going to do a cut crease with this look because cut creases are my favorite especially with my eye shapes i'm sorry y'all but i got so much eye space to do like single regular type of looks like i gotta have fun with these eyes okay so i'll probably do a cut crease maybe a little bit of peekaboo something like that but most definitely i think it's going to be another cut crease sorry i'm really patting this on and I got my base feeling like really good today because it's like sticking. I can feel the eyeshadow like grabbing towards that base. Like it ain't going nowhere. All right, so now I'm going to blend this out and <laughs> I only have two options. <laughs> Either this lime green or this one. But I think I'm going to save this one for the lid color. So let's go in with this one. It's like a, a an army green. Oh yeah, that's really like like a dirty green I call it I just have a plan if I blend this correctly it can imitate the look and the illusion that I did put like a brown in my crease 
because of the kind of rusty green that it is. the blend for me <laughs> it's the blend okay so I definitely want to bring a little bit more of that dark green back into this look so I'm just taking the same brush and just adding more to it because that rusty color definitely like faded away and like I said I don't have any other colors to rely on so I'm really surprised that the, that mint green faded to be the color that it is I'm really am surprised I thought it was gonna be a little bit more softer but like I told y'all, cis pigmentation is on a whole nother level, okay? So I'm going to go back in with no added product. I'm just going in to blend out the two colors. I definitely lost my highlight, so I'm going to reapply that as well. And I know I didn't show that part, but it's just the same highlight that I always use, which is by Ulta Beauty, Buzzword. It's my favorite brow bone highlight, okay? So I'm just going to reapply that to bring some of this green back down because I feel like it's like so high up. Now I'm so weird when it comes to doing like a peekaboo so I think that's what I want to do today because I don't want all of my green looks to be the same in a sense. Um, I'm so weird when it comes to doing a cut crease peekaboo look like I have to cut my whole entire crease although the only center part is the part that needs to be cut but I can't do another way if I do it halfway I feel like my look does not come out correctly so I'm gonna cut the whole entire crease off camera yes I know I know crazy right I'm gonna cut the whole entire crease off camera and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I do my peekaboo look okay okay so I did a very lousy cut crease and that's because the only part I was focused on is that center part because I know the inner and the outer is gonna get blended in so anywho Back to the palette. I want to jump into, I want to use the matte green first, just for my placement, I think, and then I think I want to go in with this color. Because I think this is the, the chrome one. Ooh, that's so pretty. It is, it is. Oh, look at these two green, they're so cute. Okay. <laughs> so yes, that's what we're going to be doing. Go in with that matte lime green. And I'm just going to put this in the center. Right, so now I'm just going to go in with that dark green, the same green that's in the crease. I'm just going to place it towards the outer part. And then of course, I'm going to place it in the inner part. And I am brushing a little bit of that dark green into that light green color, just to make the blending a lot more smoother. This green is absolutely gorgeous. But I am excited to try this chrome part. So I don't know if I need to apply the chrome wet or do I need to apply it dry? My mind is telling me to do a little bit of mist on my spray, on my brush. And then I'm gonna go in, like I said, with that chrome color right here. I'm just gonna place it right on top of that. Okay, there's some spot of the eyeshadow that I feel like I put a little bit too much on. It's starting to like clunk up from the spray, but I don't think you guys can see it. So, but okay, yeah, this is looking really good. I'm gonna add a little bit more of green towards the inner and outer just to make sure it blend one more again. One more time, boo. Or about the inner, y'all know I'm gonna pop an inner color. I just want to make sure I got this crease part is looking defined look at girl yes all right so i'm gonna do my wing my face and i'll be right back all right so as for my bottom lash line i think it's only right that i go in with that dark green and make it right i do have on a black pencil in my waterline i like to do that step before putting on the eyeshadow because i feel like the pencil that i do use 
they don't really show up when I use like eyeshadows first for some reason. I don't know. I'm just gonna pat that on my bottom lash line. And then as for my inner, I think oh, I was gonna pop this one, but the more I look at this shadow, it looks like the combo that I got on right now, but the chrome by itself, see if it appears a little bit different. Definitely think the chrome was a definitely better decision. All right, and then for my lips, I'm gonna go in, do I dare, pink? Yes, let's do pink on the lips. I'm gonna go in with Scorpio by Juvia. Next, I'm going in with this pretty Morphe lipstick. This is part of the Disney and Friends one. This is bright pink lipstick, okay? And it's only right that we go in with So Juicy, yes. I want the center to be a little bit more of a pill in the center, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this Live Glam lipstick. So this is what we got going so far. I'm loving everything about it. I'm going to pop on some lashes, add a little bit of highlighter, and then I'll be right back. I can show you guys the finished look and of course the outfit that I want to pair with this makeup look. All right, you guys, so this completes the look. I really do hope you guys like the makeup look. Um, it was something that I wanted to mention before. Oh, the blush. I did not show you guys my blush because I did that already. But I just have on Freshly Squeezed. It's a really pretty blush color. Look at that. She is so cute. This is makeup is giving me my life. Okay, I'm starting to like green eyeshadow. Like, it's here for me. Like, I am definitely here for green vibe week okay so now for the outfit you guys are going to love this outfit i hope you guys love this outfit i better love the outfit because <laughs> i love the outfit so much it's definitely on chill vibes so let me show you guys what i got on yes i got on this really laid back type of like sporty dress and it has like this little side little split so it definitely showcased the sports bra that came with it well it's not really a bra it's like a two a two top so I'm surprised my girls is holding up in this to be honest. I do have a bra on. I just tuck the straps in and then I put this over. But they're holding up. I'm really surprised. <laughs> I'm really surprised. But and then I paired it with some little white tennis shoes, which definitely need to be cleaned off, but it is what it is. I got kids. It doesn't even make sense for me to clean them off because I know they're going to get dirty. That's how they got dirty in the first place. My kids stepped on them. But anywho, this is the outfit. I really do hope you guys like it. The makeup's definitely making this look a little bit more sexy, chill type of vibe. Like, it's, it's the everything for me. It's the hair. It's the eyes. It's, it's the belly for me, y'all. Okay. <laughs> I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed the outfit as well that I pair with today's makeup look. So definitely don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Okay, definitely hit it. Okay, hit hit it, sis. I I'll wait. Go ahead. I'll wait. I know sometimes y'all forget. Y'all watch the video and be like, oh, it's cute. Go ahead, hit it. Go ahead, hit it, sis. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> yes, but I really like the formula in this palette. Absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. I definitely think I'm going to pick up some more of the um, monochromatic palettes from her. This um, chrome, oh my gosh, it's it's beautiful. I just, I really, really like it. I think I tried every eyeshadow in here, right? Except for one. And I did mix the inner part. I did go ahead and go in with this one just to brighten it up a little bit because I wanted to add more of the eyeshadows on my eyes. So I did mix it. And I feel like you can't really tell. I feel like I can tell in person that these are two different colors of green and that's what I was trying to lean toward. But anywho, that's pretty much it. I think I showed you guys and told you guys everything that I did use. If not, I will definitely make sure description box is filled out. Okay, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look, the outfit and all that good banger. Okay, don't forget to leave me your feedback down at the bottom. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, okay? And of course, I'll see you guys in my next upload.
Bye. Bye.